my definition of co-created content would be um, looking at it from a very collaborative perspective, so where um, researchers and practitioners are co-researchers um, and where the researcher has a real active involvement, so creating knowledge um, and then creating action simultaneously. So I've been involved um, in an action research project that's been co-creating knowledge um, and action for um, helping a company respond to modern slavery legislation. I worked with them um, on a part-time basis over a 20-month period, helping them respond to the legislation um, and working with them on a number of initiatives. So looking at, for example, how they assessed risk in their supply chain, looking at how they um, trained their employees um, and also being involved in actually detecting modern slavery where um, we conducted an audit in Southeast Asia. So we're being really encouraged to um, co-create knowledge and work with um, organisations. It really creates impact and um, you can get some really rich data when you're working closely with a company. It particularly lends itself to certain um, topics, so uh, my research in modern slavery is very sensitive, very complex, so it wouldn't be a case of just going to a company and, and conducting some interviews. Having worked closely with a company and done an action research project has meant that I've been able to um, access real sensitive information and work with them and problem solve with them, and so we actually have managed to work on a solution together. So there are many benefits and challenges with co-created um, uh, research. The benefits are that the, the access to the data, so when you're working closely with a company, um, particularly on a complex or a sensitive issue, you um, can see really what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you need to develop trust. My background is working in the industry, so that has definitely been a facilitator because it, it could be quite challenging to build that relationship. Um, you're working with them, you, you have got access to a lot of their sensitive information, so they need to be able to trust you. I think it can be quite challenging because when you start out working with a company, um, you will outline the project, but it is very driven by the research and so you don't necessarily know how the project's going to evolve, so you need to be really open-minded and, and be open to not really knowing which direction your research is going to go in, so it is all dependent on what happens at each stage and everything's quite linked and will um, evolve as you keep going through the kind of the motions. I think it's also quite challenging because you could have researcher bias, so when you're working really closely with a company, um, there is that risk that you go native. So it's really important that you step away from the field sometimes, whether that's um, working with co-authors that may not necessarily be as involved in the research or going to conferences. So I've been presenting my research at academic conferences and speaking to other academics and that definitely helps get a different perspective as well. When I publish uh, my research, I've recently published my action research project in the International Journal of Operations and Production Management. And the paper really developed during the review process and we had some really good feedback from both the reviewers and the editors. And that really helped um, the paper become a lot more stronger. I think when we first submitted the paper, we probably had made it too traditional and we hadn't really embraced um, the action research method. We hadn't really done the data justice and probably had made it too traditional. So during that review process, we really tried to make the, the data come alive um, and really show how the, the project had evolved and how the modern slavery had been investigated in the supply chain. So co-created research is really important from um, an impact perspective because you're not just doing research for the sake of doing research, you're working with a company to um, collaboratively find a solution and create action and knowledge simultaneously. Um, 
But from a research perspective, when you are co-creating, you are having access to some amazing data because you're so involved and you are working so closely um, with a company and building that trust and that relationship.